Okay, so I did a little bit of searching around the map to try and find a nice base location, and I found one. It's actually really nice, and I've already done the groundwork, literally. I placed down a couple foundations down here and sank them down into the ground as well. Just kind of like trying to figure out what I want to do over here. I think we're going to build something out front here and then maybe do something different up here. Uh, we, we've also got like tons of area down here as well. Like we could do something down there if I wanted to. Um, it does look a bit weird though. It doesn't, uh, it's not like symmetric or whatever. So I don't know what I'll do down there, but maybe something. We could put like a dino pen down there or something. Uh, and then, you know, we've just got like all this awesome area around here. So this is where I'm going to be living. And here are the rough coordinates. I don't have a GPS yet. So here you go. This is where we are. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. I know some people really struggle to actually find the locations that I'm showing off, even when I show them on the map. But some quick things that you can look at to try and find this location is number one, look for that, look for that. And you're basically right across from it. You know, uh, look for that as well. Um, and then we're right beside that. It's really easy to find. Although I don't, I'm not saying like the majority of people are like this, but some people really cannot seem to actually find these areas, even though I try to go out of my way to like show it off. But, um, once I have a GPS, I will show off coordinates real quick though, before we get started on the actual base, I did actually move over all of my stuff. It was really easy to move over all the items. Um, I basically just dropped all the bags in the ground, picked them up and then just tech suited my way all the way over here. The issue was bringing over the strider. It actually didn't take as long as I thought it would because there's a nice path that kind of like winds up and around to this area, but um, I can't get it up here. <laughs> I just can't. There's no way. Like nothing, uh, nothing will be able to walk up here until I build some sort of ramp or something. You would think it might be able to get up over here, but it actually can't get up at that spot right there. So kind of annoying. But anyway, yeah, uh, the thing that I want to do before we actually fully invest a crap ton of time into doing all of this is uh, taming up a dodic, and I've already found one. Um, so we're going to head on over there and grab it. Let me also just level up my character. There we go. And the Maywing also has a level. Um, let's pump that into melee. We'll, we'll make one for nursing effectiveness eventually. So uh, I've already found a dodic. It is a 180. I was very happy about that because um, there's just so many level 60s around for some reason. I, I'm not even kidding. I found like eight level 60s. I, I don't know why there's so many of the exact same level, but... There's just tons of them over here. So real quick, we're just going to try and get this thing all teamed up. Um, hopefully it is safe. There wasn't too many things around that area. So I think we should be good. Let me try and uh, and get up here. Sometimes with the main wing, you really struggle. Oh, I made it. Amazing. Okay. By the way, you can kind of like glitch these things out a little bit. So just go ahead and slide and then do a jump and you go way higher than before. Um, I don't know if that's an intended mechanic, but... I don't know, just definitely doesn't seem normal. So here we go. Let's try and get up here. I think there's also a path over here, so we can probably just take this area instead. By the way, guys, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Um, it really just helped me out. I do appreciate it as well. Oh, one thing I want to show off is, uh, I mean, sometimes when these DLCs drop, um, you know, I put, a, I put a lot of work into it. It may not seem like that to some people. I know it doesn't seem like that to some people. <laughs> but I do put a crap ton of work into this stuff. So oftentimes when a DLC comes out, I like to buy myself something extra nice because, you know, like hard work should be paid off and nobody's going to give me something specific. So I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll just buy myself something nice. So um, I bought myself a Megalodon tooth and a couple other little fossils and stuff. It is real. It is 100% real. It was expensive. It wasn't extremely expensive. There's so many other more expensive ones on the market. How the hell did I get stuck like that? Okay, we got to kill this RG. But, um, yeah, you can check out my Instagram if you want to check that out. I also got a Spinosaurus tooth, a uh, Mosasaur tooth, um, and then I got something else, but it's not very important. So, yeah, uh, check my Instagram out for that thing. Oh, my God, it's so big, though. Like, <laughs> I had no idea. Like, I knew they were big. I didn't know they would be that big. Like, it's kind of crazy how big one single tooth of this freaking Megalodon would have actually been. It was a Dodic. Yeah, there's another level 60. I wasn't even joking about the level 60s, guys. There's like literally a ton of them around here. It was somewhere around this area. I think this one here is it. They all seem to have like the same colors for some reason. I don't even know why. There it is. All right, so best bet. Just go ahead and just piss it off and run it off the side down here because there are a couple bad things like Daedons and, um, and Archies and stuff up here. So I don't really want to have to deal with all those guys when I'm trying to tame this dude. Also, why the hell did I bring my net projectile gun? Um, that was really dumb. So let's see. Come on, follow me. Nope, now you're not following. Okay, you know what? We could probably just shoot it with a couple tranks. I did go ahead and make myself some darts, by the way. Um, you wanna you wanna come with me? There you go. Alright. 
Let's see. Come on, Maywing. Milkshake. We got to call you Milkshake. <laughs> okay, come on. Your name's not Maywing. All right, let's see. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just put Milkshake away for the moment because we could probably just run along on foot because you can't actually shoot off the back of them, which really sucks. really wish that you could. Let's go ahead and just quickly throw you into this ball. Is that the Dodic running behind us there? Is it? I think that might be it by the tail. Is this it? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and try and get this thing all the way over here. Come on, buddy. All right, so down here is a lot safer. It, it makes more sense to, to bring it down here. Let's grab that. Although I don't actually think any of that stuff is useful on here, is it? Oh, there's another one. Okay, you know what? Uh, we can probably fix that by just netting the other one and then just running off the side with this one. And hopefully that one won't be able to follow completely. Although I think... Is it de-aggroed? It looks like it is. Oh, can you not get up here? Really? You can't... It's a ton... You can't get up onto this tiny little like spot right here and there's so many of them now look at them they're all like the exact same kind of like brown with like different colors for like the spots i wouldn't even call them spots but whatever that is um how how, how do i get you're not going to be able to get up here at all so like what really this is a tiny little ram you honestly can't get up there okay great now we got to kill all the other ones which is not going to be fun um all right so let me see. I did bring my Aquas, as an intelligent person does, if you want to knock something out, because uh, you can easily just knock out creatures like Dodix and stuff. I'm trying to scan the Dodix, but it won't allow me. Okay, there we go. We finally got it. All right, cool. Um, let me just go ahead and start right-clicking and just knocking all these dudes out, I guess. Um, probably end up, like, balling up some of the other ones. There we go. That one's balled up. Um, let's see. This one here is the 180, right? Okay. I wonder if there's a way that I could like knock it so it goes all the way up there. Okay, you know what? We should try and ball up this one as well and then we'll like leave the area with the 180. Maybe I can run it down the ramp. I mean, up here is probably not the worst place to do it because there actually doesn't seem to be too many things around right now. But at the same time, I was kind of hoping to... There's That's another level 60. And were you level 60? No, you were level 30. Great. All right, come on. Gotta get you dudes knocked out. Come on. Okay, we gotta watch out for this mammoth and make sure we don't hit that. Um, I love the fact that you can use the net gun on the mammoths, by the way. That's really just ridiculous. Oh, come on, come on. All right, let's do it. Okay, are you seriously not balling up yet? Okay, that's the 180 over there. Oh my God, this is gonna take a little bit. <laughs> I think I'll just let them come to me and then we'll just like chill right here. Maybe I could just hop up. I guess I can't even walk up onto this, can I? Yeah, they just keep knocking me around. Okay. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit. Oh, actually, I forgot. I wanted to talk about this because this is really interesting. I've been getting tons of comments over the last few days telling me to try and get as many of the loot crates as I can right now because much like with Genesis Part 1, um, apparently you can actually manage to get the uh, the items that probably aren't supposed to be in loot crates right now. Um, apparently you can actually get the... What do you call them? It's like, it's like a different version of the net gun. It's actually the original one that was in the dev kit for like, what is it, like five years almost now. Um, so apparently you can get that in the dev kit right now. That's ridiculous. Uh, we need to try and get one of those, but trying to get enough points for the loot crates is going to be difficult. I did fix the loot, or not the loot, the hexagon um, amount that I get on the server. It was down, so I fixed it, and now we get the proper amount, which is great. So that really sucked because I did so many missions so I could probably just try and redo some of those why can I not scan these things half the time it's super annoying all right let's try and get this thing knocked out then that other one's going away it's not really gonna be possible to move this thing super far from here and unfortunately I don't have anything that can pick it up so can't really do that but apparently this other net gun anyway is capable of netting absolutely every single creature in the game it's probably not intended that it's in the game right now um I would imagine that it's not because that seems a little bit ridiculous but yeah so try and get yourself one of those right now um it's, it's gonna be pretty amazing we need to try and do that i i don't know if it's an actual bug or if they will remove it they probably will considering um but yeah i don't know that seems very very op and i will be very happy to try and get myself one of them okay this thing's torpor running that's great god the uh the dodics are a big pain to actually knock out i really have to say um, we'll use the horse a little bit because it's running and try and like lead it back But also like try and knock it out at the same time. Okay. We got to watch out for this mammoth I do not want to hit that thing. Are we good? 
think we're good. All right, let's try and hit this thing a little bit more. Yeah, horses are great for this. Okay. Come on. Definitely much better than using tranks, but I can't keep taking damage on the horse, unfortunately. But when it's running like this, this is perfect for us. Let's keep hitting. We got to try and actually knock it out in a nice area as well, so... Okay, we're getting close. That other Dodic is trying its best to get over here, and we are out of stam on the horse. And Torpor is rising. Okay, what is that right there? A dead Daedon? I think so. I did see a Daedon uh, attacking a Dodic a couple minutes ago, so that's why I was kind of saying this area is dangerous. Come on, buddy. Uh, come on. What is with this? I hate this Helena thing sometimes. You can't scan things right ahead because the creature's head, I guess, gets in the way. Um... We're gonna try and knock you out a little bit more, I think. Maybe try and like lead you back over towards the super safe area. A little bit, maybe? No, probably not. All right, we at least try. Okay, there we go, yeah. Okay, perfect. We'll just let it run in that direction and uh, and then I'll just chase it down and, and knock it out completely. No! <laughs> God damn it, hurt my plan. Oh wait, no, now we're good, now we're good. All right, here we go. The final bit of torpor. Okay, I'm not going to hit it anymore, because I think it's probably going to go by itself. It might. It might not. Okay, one more hit then. One more little hit. Okay, let's try and lead it back over towards the cliff a little bit. Alright, it's not going. There we go. That should do it, right? Oh my god, it's on like a sliver left. Okay, hang on. <laughs> there we go, it's out. Awesome. Alright. Um, not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Would have preferred to try and get it down there. So much safer down there, but whatever. We have to deal with the hand that we're dealt, and this is the hand that we have to play right now. Um, okay. We should probably try and kill that other Dodic just to stop it from coming after me. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put the Equus away. Super bloody. We'll get you all healed up in a little bit there, bud. Okay, and boom. Awesome. Okay. I really love that they uh, did all the upgrades to the cryopods a little while ago. That's great. I'm, I'm so happy that they did that because, I mean, cryopods were great and all, but, like, it was kind of a mess to look at before. Now it's a lot cleaner to look at. I really like that. All right, come on. It's just, should we just, we should probably shouldn't have to kill this thing, but um, maybe I will just so it doesn't potentially lead more creatures over. I don't know. Come on. I guess they don't go after things that are unconscious, though, do they? Like it, or not unconscious, balled up. That's what I meant. All right, let's try and destroy this thing. Hey, there we go. Nice. Oh wait, that was the level thirty. I oh, I thought I had the level sixty chasing me. I think that might be it over there. All right. Well, anyway, the Dodic is down. Uh, we will have to give it some narcotic and stuff, but I only really have berries to feed it. Unfortunately, uh, Dodics do not take mutton. <laughs> So, yeah, berries is how we're going to have to go. I do have some carrots, but honestly, like, the difference between carrots and berries is not that much, and I'd rather just keep the carrots. Um, so, yeah, well, oh, my God, what is with this dude sometimes? Like, look at this. These are bushes. Why can't I harvest them? Come on. All right, let me see. What about this? No, that's a little tree, isn't it? All right, there we go, finally. Okay, we're getting some actual bushes here. I don't really understand how that all works. For some reason, it's AoE sometimes. It just doesn't seem to be able to hit them. Like, those are bushes that you can harvest with any other berry creature, but for some reason, the Maywing really struggles with them, and I have no idea why. All right, let's, uh, let's do something smart here. Taming list, boom. We got you, and now we can keep an eye on you. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably go back to my little base area. Um, I can keep I can keep an eye on its, uh, its torpor and everything from here, which is great. So it's best to not be in the area. That way things aren't loaded in and things aren't going to potentially hit it or attack it in general. So we should be good. Um, so let me just go ahead and I'll just grab some narcotic and chuck all that stuff in. Get this thing fully knocked out. And uh, yeah, then we can just head back to base and like prepare for stuff. I am not capable of hitting any of these bushes. Like what is this AOE? Like how does this even make any sense? I'm able to do it to some of them, but not all of them. That seems bugged, right? It definitely seems bugged. I did not mean to hit you. Oh my... Okay, that was a bad idea. <laughs> All right. I know the belly flop also gives the uh, berry, so I was trying to do that, but yeah. Awesome. What's the smart to do it right there? Wait, why level is this Anki? Maybe we can knock out an Anki as well. Dude, that's a 168. No way. Okay, I'm knocking that thing out. I'm knocking it out. 
Oh, we can tame an Anki and a Dodic right together like this. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, let me see if the Anki will come up here. It might be able to. Potentially could. Okay, uh, we do have a bit of an issue. I did chuck away the Equus. So that's, it's okay, but it would be kind of nice if I hadn't have done that. Um, I can't drop it out right now because it's, uh, I got crowd sickness. So I will knock out this Anki though. And the Anki is not capable of getting up here. I'll probably net it just so I can like shoot it a bunch or like hit it a bunch and the Equus doesn't take uh, damage that way. But um, yeah, for the moment, maybe I'll just like trank at it for a little bit. This is perfect though. Just like the, the ultimate, uh, the ultimate duo together like this, the Anki and the Dodic at the exact same time in the exact same area. Man, this is awesome. I had no idea this thing was even here. Well, like, I knew there was an Anki, but I didn't know the level, obviously. All right, here we go. Almost out, one more. Boom, awesome. All right, sweet. So Anki and a Dodic in the same area. This is the the best. I love this. Cause like you, you do need to, oh, that was weird. You do need to tame the two of these, you know, at some point you need something good for metal and flint. You need something good for stone and that's it. I mean, the Dodic's pretty good for some other stuff as well, but those are the main things. So yeah, right at the exact same time like this. I love it. It's a pity that that wasn't also a 180, but you know what? I can't get too greedy. All right, let's go ahead and uh, feed both of these dudes. The Anki, I don't believe that the Torpor and Anki's actually goes down quick at all. Um, so we should be good on that, but I will probably just dump in a crap ton of berries anyway. Let's go ahead and just, uh, there we go. Let's just give you a hundred. It doesn't really matter because we have lots of the stuff and it's free, but there we go. Leave some in you and let me go ahead and feed you two. Um, so you definitely have enough food, right? Um, we might need to get you. No, you definitely have enough. All right. doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and just dump in all these berries for creatures like this. It's a lot more useful to just go ahead and dump in berries because if the torpor goes down quick enough, uh, you're probably better off using narco berries instead of narcotic because they have a slower release of the actual, uh, torpidity. So definitely a lot handier with those on like Therizinos and stuff like that. Um, definitely would recommend that in case you, I mean, I, I imagine most people already know this stuff, but figured I should mention it anyway. Some people learn some things from my videos occasionally. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and pull it, put away this, uh, bloody horse. Oh my God. It's so, you're so hurt. We don't even have a name for you as well. We'll name one eventually when we get some cool mutations, which is obviously in the, in my plans. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm going to leave these two here and we should be good. You know what? I will actually just grab half of these, chuck them onto the Dodic just in case. You never know. I might end up forgetting and then come over here and then have to grab berries and I won't have enough time and yeah, blah, 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 blah. All right. So we got to fly back to base. Unfortunately, uh, can't go on the Maywing. By the way, up here is a really nice and interesting spot to build in. That would actually be really nice for like a little starter base. And then you also have up here as well. Like, honestly, this map is so cool. Cause like, there's just all these areas that you can build in. You can even like run up and down this thing right here. So you have like a built in ramp. I don't know. I really like this stuff. I mean, I'm sure PVP is, uh, <laughs> you guys are probably having a lot of fun with this map considering all the little ledges everywhere. I mean, even under there could probably be pretty useful. Like you can play some platforms and stuff along this, I would assume. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like there's just so many little, um, what, what do you even call it? Like rat holes <laughs> as well. I've, I've found a few myself. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's pretty hilarious how, how many spots there are where you could just, you have like these little flat areas just built into the ship and you could just place a bunch of gates around and bam, there you have a massively enclosed base that is not in cave damage. I don't know. That's awesome. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get back here and I'll just try and get some stuff done for the meantime. This is a nice way of getting some uh, thatch. You just power punch between the trees. Oh, by the way, they re-enabled it. Um, I've seen so many comments about it. I have known about it. I just forgot to mention uh, that I knew about it, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, though. I, I do appreciate all the comments, though. Like, everybody's like, oh, my God, like, they did this or they did that. And I do know about some of the things, but, like, it's, it's, really, uh, it's really good to see that you guys got my back. <laughs> Not to get flint with this as well. So much better than using a pickaxe, to be honest. So I pretty much leveled this whole little forest here, and look how much stuff I've got from doing all this. Like, doesn't cost anything to do because you don't have to run on element over here. And I mean, look at all that. That's great. Very happy about that. So let's uh let's try and get back to base now. So that's basically how you move when you're uh, completely overburdened if you didn't realize it. So 
Um, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get back over here real quick. Jump it all in here, and uh, I feel like I'm probably good for the moment. Maybe I'll wait for the trees to come back. Oh, actually, you know what? I just remembered. Let me see if I can find it. Um, where is it? Oh, it would be down the bottom, right? Okay, so I managed to get myself... Yeah, here it is. I managed to get myself a tech generator from one of those drops. Like, what on earth? It doesn't even make sense. Why are we getting such ridiculous, crazy loot? I can't even use that, by the way. I can't actually use it because I can't place it because I don't have the tech room. And I don't know what tech rooms you get from fighting Rockwell Prime, so don't even know if we can get that. I imagine that you probably... I know that the exclusive tech room, there's only one exclusive tech room on this map, which, by the way, wildcard, thank you. Like, it's, it's kind of nice to actually get to check out some of the stuff without having to fight the final boss, because, like, that's the worst part. Like, look at Genesis Part 1, right? If you want to check out the majority of the stuff, it's locked behind tech rooms, you know? What is that? The Astro... The Astro Cetus Saddle... Uh, cruise missile, shoulder cannon, tech plasma claw thingies, grenade launcher, the sensor as well, really. And then the skiff. I mean, the skiff makes sense. Maybe this thing, the cruise missile also makes sense. But, like, the rest, come on. Like, we, we couldn't even, like, check those things out at all unless you actually get to the stage where, you know, you're doing the, the final boss. Which is really difficult to do on Genesis Part 1. So much more difficult than over here on Part 2. Um... But yeah, no, like, there's there's not even that many items in the, the first part of the DLC, like, saddle, uh, okay, so that one right there is the exact same, that's the tech sensor, this is an S plus version, clearly, so, okay, so ignore that, we've got the magmasaur saddle, that's the mining drill, you know, those two things are very nice, we've got the jump pad, the platform, uh, make shelly on saddle, platform, pressure plate, fishing net, that's all that you get unless you get to tech tier in that DLC, which... It makes sense that it's difficult to get. I'm not I'm not hating on it, but I'm just really I'm appreciating the fact that there's only one Tecrum on part two, which is right here. It's the uh it's the mech, which also makes sense why it's actually there, because it's very OP. But like look at all the engrams that you get on this one. Without having to do any sort of final boss, you just have to be super high level. And you can get to 120 without ascending, by the way. Cause now if you collect every single explorer note in the game, you get an extra ten levels. The max level for just a normal survivor without anything is 105. And then if you get all the levels from the chibis, you get an extra five levels. So when there's an event rolling around or unless you have a mod to add chibis, uh, just go ahead and focus on killing a crap ton of alphas all over the map. I mean, they're everywhere. Everybody's complaining about them, to be honest. I'm, I'm very happy about it, although not everybody. A lot of people are happy about all the alphas, but I've seen quite a few comments saying that they're just flooding the map. Um, I'm okay with it, but... I guess I can I can understand why people might not like that. But yeah, it, my point is is that it's going to be really easy to get uh, the chibi levels by, you know, leveling it up using the alpha um, XP or whatever. So yeah, it's honestly like you can now get to all that stuff without having to ascend at all. And now max level, by the way, is 180 with the four ascensions. So maybe at some stage they'll give some sort of extra bonus for defeating extinction because right now there really isn't anything that you get uh, besides some pretty good loot and a chance to ride in a giant mech robot. But at the same time, you know, it'd be kind of nice to actually have some sort of, like, tech rooms or something that you can unlock from that, or maybe even just extra levels. I don't know. That's such a hard boss fight, and all you get is a freaking trophy. Oh, man. Well, anyway, yeah. Um. So we're still waiting on our dudes over there. I can't really tell what percentage they're on because they're kind of meshed into each other, but, yeah, they're very early on. It literally has not been no time. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just chill here and wait until they're actually, like, ready to be tamed or whatever, so... Yeah, catch you in a little bit. All right, so our two dudes here are all tamed up. Let's just go ahead and pick them up. Uh, what is attacking? Oh, what? Oh, there's scorpions. I didn't even notice. Oh, that was a weird little lag spike. Um, this is actually going to be pretty nice. We'll have a bunch of chitin to harvest after this as well. Sweet. Oh, we can actually harvest with the uh, Maywing as well. Let's just go ahead and do that. Or not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Amazing. I didn't think we were going to be able to, considering it's weird AoE right now. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Uh, it's not a huge amount, but it's okay. All right, let's go ahead and get you two away. And obviously, they lost a couple levels because I fed them with berries, but that's okay. I'm, I'm completely fine with that. I mean, this uh, 180 would have come out as a uh, 269 if I fed it kibble, but you know what? It's fine. It's absolutely fine because it's just a little creature that I'm going to have for a little bit, and maybe eventually 
We'll get some better ones or something. I don't know. Um, we can probably just leave that stuff. All right, awesome. So let's get back to base. I know I have an Anki saddle. I have like a journeyman, I think. Uh, I got it from one of the drops or probably from a mission. I honestly can't remember. It's hard to really keep track of all the loot right now. Um, but yeah, so I have that. I do need to craft a Dodic saddle. And uh, then we just need to harvest all of the stone in the area because this is going to be an expensive little base build. What the hell is that floating? Okay, no, that's a Trandon. I thought that was like a weird Maywing or something just like floating in the air. All right, let's get down here. Boom. Awesome. Oh my God. I really love the Maywings, by the way. Can we just talk about this for like a second? Because like they're really awesome. I love riding around on them. They're so fast. They're so easy to control as well. I, I don't know. I really like them. So... Uh, I'm so glad that they're actually part of the DLC. I actually, I mean, initially when they showed off the little dossier, let me just double check. When they showed off the little like picture of it that they uh, that they made up, like I think that was around Christmas or something. But when they showed that off, they like it kind of just looked like a little shoulder pet. But I did not expect it to be this big and this useful as well. I mean, it's it's definitely a game changing creature considering you can have like four gigas sitting inside of it at 99.999% you know uh maturation or whatever and then when they grow up they pop out but like the fact that they could stay in there that whole time is just ridiculous uh right now we can't chuck them out because we do have the cryo sickness so we gotta wait for that but let's just check out the stats on them real quick um that seems pretty good actually yeah not a huge amount of weight on them but still pretty good the Dodic has some pretty, uh, some pretty decent health, actually. Oh, the Anki does, too. Hmm. Awesome. Actually, the Dodic has some really good melee damage. That's nice. Alrighty. Well, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and harvest up all the stone that I can find, and we'll get going on this little base project. Okay, so I've done some more work here. Not a whole lot. Um, I really struggle to actually, like, build on cam, because there's a lot of placing and then changing, and... It's kind of hard to do commentary over when you're trying to figure out things on the fly, but uh, this is what I've got going here. So I'll probably end up changing some of it, maybe extending out this little like raised up bit. But I'm thinking that maybe we could place some crops like growing in there because obviously in this DLC, there's a lot more uh, different crops and seeds and stuff like we've got the um, what do you call it? The five Rockwell different plants that you can use to grow meat and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. And I kind of want to have that stuff um you know in the base at some point or whatever so i'm thinking in the center here we'll have like some crops growing um and then yeah i don't really know where i want to put like the workshop stuff because like i'm gonna need a spot for like you know smithy and and fabricator and all that stuff and then maybe eventually a replicator i don't even know if you can unlock that you probably do from rockwell prime again this dlc is new i don't know everything so um yeah Trying to figure it all out though. Um, I think we're gonna have it like mostly open at the front here and then maybe have like a roof section or something. I don't know, it's really hard to like figure this stuff out on the fly, but uh, let me just kind of fill you in on some of the stuff that we're doing. So we have these little ramps right here. Oh my God, please. <laughs> please place properly. There's so many like different snap points right there. So it's kind of awkward, but basically what I did was um, these foundations here are at the exact same height as the original foundations that I placed. I have a method that I use to lower down foundations and it really only properly works in S+. There are other ways to do it, but what you do is you basically like build out one uh, ceiling like that, then place a wall and then place another wall down below. You kind of have to bring it out over the edge to like properly place everything. Um, and then what I do is I remove the top wall, place a railing and then place a ceiling. And then that's like, you know, basically how to get like a half wall uh, height on things so that's kind of how we have like things raised up by like a half wall exactly here and everything like that so yeah I'm thinking that this will be like the the middle section I'll probably not put anything here maybe put something like in the middle here because I'm trying to kind of like section that off just a little bit by placing really <laughs> by placing these railings like right here okay I'll, I'll do that bit after it's fine I'll get it eventually <laughs> Oh my god, Ark and building. Oh man, I, I mean, it, it's fine. I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it eventually. But um, yeah, so it will basically be the exact same as over here. Maybe I'll put like railings here as well, uh, I would imagine. And then, you know, we could maybe put something here. Uh, I don't know what that might be. Maybe we could probably put our fabricator there or something. I don't really know. But um, 
yeah just trying to like figure all this out and also this stuff is all extremely expensive right now i don't have a really good way of getting wood like having the dodic is great i can get a crap ton of uh stone and everything but there's no really easy way of getting wood so i need to tame up a beaver or i don't think there's thorny dragons on this map maybe a mammoth would be better a mammoth actually would be a really good tame. maybe i'll go for that next that would actually be really handy because they're also really good just in general but um yeah so we need something for wood at some point so i'll try and work on that but for the moment um just trying to kind of like okay <laughs> why does it why does it lie to me it's like oh yeah no you place that it will go here and then it's like psych and it's like not there anymore i love it so much so i guess an easier method is just to remove the foundation and then place place it back <laughs> oh man so um yeah we'll probably like place the crops or something in here this is like obviously wood um i'm gonna need a lot of wood to actually make all those crop plots so we'll figure all that out at some point um and then i think we'll probably build this top section at some other stage i kind of want to work on like this area down here and like i said it's pretty difficult to get all these materials and everything right now like the the wood is the main uh thing i didn't even place that thing did i let me place it there oh wow look at that it's like if you want to place it like this it goes there but if you want to place it oh wow okay never mind it's fine oh my god arc is just trolling me here today so yeah we're just uh i'm gonna continue to work on this a little bit more and i'll bring you guys back for an update in a little bit okay so i think we're gonna go ahead and just tame up a mammoth and then end off the episode because there is no way i'm gonna be able to get all of this done here tonight um so i think the best bet is let's uh let's net the two of these mammoths and then try to knock out the high level we've got a bunch of them over there as well these guys are everywhere in this freaking map oh oh wait wait, wait. there's a 180 oh my god there's so many of them over here though are you kidding though ah oh, that is so annoying there's so many of them in that direction it's almost probably better to just go for this one but ah uh, okay i'll go for the 180 i can't not go for the 180 by the way the levels on this map seem pretty good i'm i'm really happy with them because it doesn't seem like it kind of seems like the dlcs where there's more higher levels there's like a thing built into those maps that just makes there be more higher levels i don't know how else to explain it um so yeah let me see if i can i could probably go ahead and just kill this rg and then net all of these mammoths as they run at me uh, maybe leave the 180 for last. Oh my god, though. Jesus. Okay, we gotta watch out for those roars. That's gonna reduce my damage. Um, I, I don't really know what the best way to deal with all of this is. I mean, we do have our long neck, so if that RG's still alive, I can go ahead and kill it. Um, I don't think it is, though. Okay, which one is the 180? I think it's this one on the far. No, nope, it's not. Okay, it's the one... It's this one right here in the very front. Okay, I got an idea got an idea we're gonna go ahead and net that one let all the other ones chase me and i'll bring them like over there or something right so boom we got that one i love the fact that you can use the net gun on those guys um can't wait to actually eventually get one of those uh those like extra net thingies but i think it's just i think it's also called the net gun actually wait this one is called net projectiles okay my bad the other thing i think is actually just called the net gun i'm really excited like if we could actually manage to get one of those that would be fantastic i'd love that uh, let's see. Okay, so we got two of them so far. This is not great speeds there. Seriously, you guys have already forgotten about me trapping your friend. It's just chilling inside of a net right now, and you're just... You're okay to just wander around and not do anything. Um, all right, let's get up here. But yeah, when we can eventually get one of those... Uh, oh, that's gonna be awesome. I can't wait for it. Um, okay, so it's still trapped, right? It is. Okay. I love the nets, though. They last a minute as well, by the way. That's... That's actually really good. Um... I don't know what the best way of doing this is. Like, they're not fast enough to really chase me, are they? Let's go ahead and just hit them then. See if we can get them to follow me over here or something. Okay, so the, the 180 is back up. Let me get another net. Okay, we can't do that because we can't reload on the back of this dude. Okay, which one's the 180? One of them just fell down there. I think this one here might be the 180. Uh, yes, you are. That's awesome. So maybe I'll... I got okay i got an idea we'll let the 180 chase me and i'll leave the other two here in nets uh although it seems to be completely stuck on them so that's probably not the best idea um okay let me go ahead and just belly flop these two for like a little bit <laughs> oh my god we're doing like no damage look at that oh, that freaking mammoth roar is insane so yeah maybe we'll just mass belly flop oh wow we already got one of them killed damn dude freaking may wings are dope this thing is imprinted but like still all right come here buddy come on follow me 
All right, we should probably try and see if we can get you netted up. Um, and then I'll just kill the other one, and then we'll come back and we'll deal with this one. So my plan is to uh, to use the Equus on it to just try and knock it out, just so I don't have to wait, waste starts and everything. Um, belly flop you to death. Come on, almost there. Come on. All right, almost there, almost there. Okay, here we go. Awesome. Oh, oh, it's, it's still alive. It almost looked like it was dead there. That was a 162, by the way. Um, I'm okay about killing it, though. Like, it's completely fine. Literally don't care. We have a 180 over here to tame. So I think for the moment, maybe I'll just shoot a couple darts into it. These guys have a decent amount of torpor, I guess. Um, I could probably still use the Aquas on it, but I think we'll wait for it to be netted again. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, no, these, uh, these darts are doing some pretty good work on it. Yeah. Hmm. All right, well, we're going to have to wait for the Equus to be ready. Okay, let's go ahead and get you onto the bar then, bud. Boom. All right, you are up. Now, I don't know how long of a cooldown is between each net, but I would assume it's roughly around the same time as, like, a Bola, which I think is 20 seconds or something. Um, by the time it gets to me, it should be ready to be netted again. I don't know if the color that's showing me is really true right now. Like, if I did shoot a net, would it go in? Yes, it will. Oh, that's dope. All right. So, yeah, I don't know if the color actually counts, but maybe when it is yellow, that means that... I don't know. We'll have to do some testing. Um, all right. Well, let's, any, let's get this thing knocked out then. Um, should probably be investing in an Aquas that is just simply made for knocking things out for me. Because <laughs> this is insane. All right. We're running lower on stamina, but we're still good for the moment. We're just spamming right-click and H to check. There we go. It's out. Awesome. So I will get this thing all tamed up and by the next episode I will have already had it and I will grind out all of the wood that we need. It's just too difficult to get it all done right now because I'm thinking big. Like if I wasn't going so big with the base. Oh, Helena, okay. My ba my face is Helena right now. So if I wasn't going so big with the base, it probably wouldn't need to be, uh, you know, separated into more than one episode. But um, I definitely don't want to half-ass it. I want to make something really cool. So we we're going to need this thing and... I'm so happy that we actually managed to get a 180. That's dope. Oh, the net is gone. That kind of freaked me out for a second. All right. Well, anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. If you want to see more, you can subscribe. We should have another video later on because uh, something is arriving tomorrow. And um, I'm really excited to show you guys. So, yeah, check out the channel later on. Turn on notifications, all that good stuff. I'll catch you in the next time.